All right, we've got a couple of different things uh, on Amazon. Uh, they had their batteries on sale. They're uh, high capacity 2400s. These are supposed to be uh, like there was reviews where people were saying, "Oh, these are end loops." Well, I, I kind of doubt that, but uh, maybe. So, they're definitely uh, a little heavier than the other ones I've ordered in the past. Um, I ordered the basics before that were um, uh, two two thousand milliamp hour. So these are twenty four hundred and. Um, Trying to read this real quick. They're made in Malaysia, which means they're not the ones that people wanted, I guess. I don't know. I mean, do they even still make batteries in uh, Japan? Huh. Anyway, go ahead and open them up here. I don't think my other ones were sealed like that. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. They're definitely heavier than the other ones, which usually that's kind of how I judge batteries. Basically, I found that every time if you run into a battery, it's got some weight. It's a good battery. They give you quite a bit of information here, because I guess they're trying to you know cut down our returns. They explained you know. Um, had a charger maybe? No, yeah, literally it's just a very long uh, list in English and other languages of uh, warnings. Do not burn or expose, may leak or become hot. Do not burn or expose to high temperatures. Do not dismantle, open or shred the cells. Keep the batteries out of reach of children. Blah, blah, blah. Not subject them to mechanical shock. So anyway, guys, I think that these are like five dollars off right now, and um, instead of being fifteen bucks, they're ten bucks. If you buy twenty-four of them, which I thought about it, but I haven't ever tried these before. So, but if you buy twenty-four of them, I think they're like twenty-two dollars or something right now. It's really silly. Um, I waited for a while because last time I ordered the other batteries, they were about $10. But lately, the other batteries have been $12, and these have been $15. So when these went on sale for like $9.49 or whatever, I, I ordered them. So um, they look good to me. Um, I'm going to go grab a couple of them and, and put them on the charger. Um, probably uh, need to uh, test the voltage on them too and see what they read first. Uh, let's just go over to the charger. So this type of charger is going to um, tell me what the voltage probably is anyways. Uh, so I'm going to give you um, after, after it's charged It'll tell you how much it goes into it. It's not going to tell you the capacity. It's not that. This isn't that type. These are also available on Amazon too. Um, really good. All right. So these are supposed to be pre-charged. Are these like double wrapped or something? Ooh, that's funky. Okay. So there's like a clear thing around this other thing. So, it says it's 1.28 volts, 
It claims to be 50%. Um, I don't want this charging at 2 amps. I'll go half amp. Because I'm not in a hurry. And um, this is easier on the batteries. I've got a mosquito fly. So they're all um, they're all 50%, all of them. While this mosquito is trying to fly around and bite me while I'm trying to put these things in here. So anyway, um, this charger appears to not be real happy. I've seen it flicker a couple of times. I think it's uh, um, you know it's USB powered, and um, it uh, needs to be specific amount like like two amps or higher. Okay, so we do have this like little scale here. These are some of the other Amazon batteries. They're 27 grams, pretty much all of them. 28, 27, 27. So these look very similar, but these ones are silvery. These are 29 and 30. Um, Now one thing I noticed is that that charger I was using, it didn't like these batteries. 29. So, I'm going to use this different charger. So I guess um, I would probably warn you that maybe your charger might not like these. Um, I will have to try these in a couple of different chargers. Um, I've got like a regular kind of like a smart charger it'd be interesting to see if it causes any kind of issues I did read something in the reviews because these would be in higher capacity that like they don't necessarily um, work in all chargers but the uh, this one here is the other charger that I have it's not as, as good as the other one it's more of a manual but um, the other one has adjustable current charge rates too this one's just all on mag well actually this one once you, you can only do like a certain amount depending on which bank you put them in. So if you're going to charge two at a time, you need to make sure they're in like separate banks so that it will do full power. Uh, let me get this plugged in anyway. Um, basically, um, if, uh, if you uh, put one here and then like one there, they're in the same bank. And so they'll split the current, and so it just takes longer. So unless you're charging four at once. So for example, you see it's charging at one amp. It's at 1.3 volts. I'll put another one right here. It goes to half an amp. And then the other one reads on here. So what you do is you'd put it in number three, and then it would not do that it would give it one amp but since we're going to put four in here does it really matter so put that one in there and it'll start to read well, this one doesn't tell you the percentage but we know these batteries according to the other charger looked like they were about 50 percent charged this is probably going to change the whole thing from half an amp to less maybe i don't even know now this one here will sit here and it will show me how much is put into it just like the other one. Um, you can see channel 1 and 4 at once, push that, and then you can see channel 2 and 3. So that's how that one works. So we'll come back later on and check these out and just see. Um, but they didn't really, um, they didn't seem like they wanted to uh, work correctly in the other charger, I'm not sure why.